in this house tell the story in this house we find our way to the shining sun rose in glory one who loves one who saves one who loves and the one who saves oh one who loves one who saves one who loves and the one who saves hello everyone this is pastor colin proud to be the minister here at the presbyterian church in geneva Thank you for taking time to watch this video and to consider what support might look like from you for the ministry here in the year 2025. We've been asking people three questions. The first is, what drew you to this place in the first place? The second is, what are you excited about right now? And the third is, what are you looking forward to in the future here? To quickly answer those questions myself, four years ago, I was drawn to apply to the possibility of, of being invited to be in service here as the head of staff and one of the primary ministry leaders for the next generation here. And I made that effort. I decided that that was a thing which made some sense to risk a whole change in life because it seemed that there were people here who took their discipleship seriously, who had a profound heart for not just caring for themselves, but for their broader community, and an actual interest in investing in a different kind of future in a place that might continue the legacy of profound ministry and witness here that has been happening for 200 years, but not to do it in the same way, to do it in a more effective way that it can continue to thrive for many, many years to come. I can tell you right now that part of what I'm excited about is some of those assumptions were true. This is a space filled with wonderful people who are willing to love and willing to risk, who are willing to be just a little bit uncomfortable and also delight in the things that God is obviously doing. Part of what God is obviously doing has been shown in this space as we have expanded our mission program to include new opportunities that are hands-on, not just checkbook out. More and more people are heading out in the name of the church and as part of a community here to be the hearts and hands of Christ for neighbors in need, to be joyful, personal, eye-to-eye -eye witnesses to what it means to share a little bit of love in this place. We're thrilled that we've been able to expand the hours of our local food pantry. We are looking forward to ways in which we can be a broader blessing to this broader community of Geneva itself. We also have made deep commitments to being a Matthew 25 congregation, which means we publicly state that we care and will work for issues of racial justice and economic injustice. What does it mean to alleviate systemic poverty and recognize the full value of all of God's children? Part of that means we're also a covenant network congregation, which declares that we are folks who are fully delighting in the full expression of God's children in the LGBTQ community. We have seen some membership growth tied to those commitments and tied to folks who value those commitments. We're privileged to have a number of folks who have joined and as they have joined, we found that we've gotten a little bit younger. We've gotten a little more diverse in our expression, both in terms of sexual orientation and racial ethnic histories. We are beginning to look a little bit more like the full community of Geneva, and we are looking very much forward to expanding that. Which brings me to what is next. Well, what is next is we are hoping that our staff redesign, creating a new position for youth and family ministries, will begin to thrive and will allow folks to be able to have resources to do faith at home when Sunday morning might not work with the other schedules and demands of family life. How can we be a blessing to people right where they are and support families in supporting their proclamation of faith and faith practice together? We're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to expanding our mission and ministry programs even more that all of us can be the hearts and hands of Christ 
literally putting our faces, our names, and our hands to work in this surrounding community. And we are looking forward to the invitation for next generations of folks here to help guide us to see where God is at work and how we might partner in what God is already doing. We will remain true to historic traditions while at the same time we will throw open the doors of possibility to what it means to proclaim good news in a way that it can be heard by God's good people in this day and age. Thank you for your support. Know that we only can do what we do here because of God's grace and your choice to participate. The generosity of this congregation is significant. We are proud that we are way over a tithing congregation in terms of mission support for other folks. We are proud that we are able to continue to offer the ministry services we have here. But to do these next steps, we absolutely need the financial commitment of folks who are willing to participate in this grand adventure. Your time, your talents, your service, and yes, your resources make these things possible. God is at work here. How good it is to partner with the holy. Friends, in this house we tell the story of the one who loves and the one who saves. I'm glad that you are part of that story, and thank you for considering support for this upcoming year.